Hey guys, welcome to Cute Tea Drawings. Today I'll be drawing Gwen Stacy as Ghost Spider from Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. I'll be drawing on my tablet, but you can also follow along on paper, and please remember to like and subscribe. Ok, now let's get started. I'm going to first start off by zooming in on the head. Near the top here, let's start with the eyes. Let's draw two angles up. And then from the top, let's curve it out. And now from the end, let's curve it down and in. And then let's close it off with another curved line. And that's it for the eyes. Next, let's draw the shape of the head. Let's start on the left next to the eye. And let's draw a curve down towards the center. And the same thing on the right. Next, let's draw the hood. Let's start on top in the center and let's draw a curve line down to the left side. And the same thing on the right. Now let's continue that line down and then curve it down underneath the head like this. And make sure you leave a gap for the neck. Next, before continuing the hood, let's finish drawing the shape of the eyes. Around each eye, let's add a border in the same way that we drew it earlier. And that's it for the eyes. Now let's move back and finish drawing the hood. Let's hop up to the top and let's draw a curve down to the left. And down to the right. And now from the sides, let's angle it down and then curve it back in. And the same on the right. Next, let's move inside and draw the neck. Underneath the head, in the gap we left, let's draw two curves down. Then let's angle it down and out. And then inside, a V-shape. Next, I'm going to draw the spider web pattern inside the hood. Let's start on the left and let's draw curved lines all the way down inside like this. And let's do the same thing on the right. And now to create the web pattern, let's draw curved lines all the way across in between each of these lines.
And when you're done, you should end up with a web pattern like this. And that's it for the head. Next, let's move down and draw the body. Let's start off by continuing that shoulder line we drew earlier. And let's curve it down on both sides. And then another diagonal line underneath for the bottom of the arm. Now from the inside, let's draw two angled lines for the sides of her torso. Now to move inside and draw her top. From the armpit, let's draw a V-shaped angle in from both sides. And then another larger V to connect it. And that's it for her upper torso. Next, let's move over and draw the rest of her arms and hands. From the arm lines we drew earlier, let's angle them both outwards. Now let's draw the fingers. Let's start from the bottom line and let's draw a curve down and up. And the same on the right. Then for the end, let's draw a small curve out. And then we're going to bring it up with two bumps for the fingers. Now let's add two more fingers. Let's start at the top and let's draw a curve up and back down. And then one more curve going out and back in. Next inside, let's add some details. From that top finger, let's draw a curve inside. And then another curve on the finger underneath it. Then another curve inside near the elbow here. Now inside, let's add a spider web pattern. And then small curves in between. And that's it for the arms and hands. Next, let's move back in and draw the legs. From the sides of the body, let's curve it down towards the center like this. And then from the hips, let's draw a curve down from both sides. And the same thing from the inside. Now inside, at the top of the thighs, let's add another curve. Next, let's hop down and let's add another set of curves at the bottom of each leg. Now at the bottom, let's add the shoes. Let's start with a rectangle shape near the bottom here, like this, for the tongue of the shoe. Then let's angle it down and out from both sides. Now at the end of each foot, let's draw an oval shape. Next, inside each shoe, let's add some details. Let's start with two bent lines inside each shoe.
and then an X shape for the laces. And then a line across on top of the X. Lastly, underneath, let's add the sole of each shoe with two lines down from the sides. And then a curve across the bottom. And that's it for Ghost Spider. Now let's quickly color it in. And done. Hope you enjoyed drawing along with me. And please remember to hit that like button and subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching.